Hold on, I'm coming. Dude, I think these guys want to eat us. You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Maybe we can find some help there. I mean, what the hell, man? We're gone two weeks and what? Everybody takes up cannibalism? Bees me. Hmm. Hold up. Shit, these guys look messed up too. Yeah. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. Pace yourself. space for the wounded. Wendell, start doing an inventory of whatever... Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. But I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need and stay safe out there. Yo, yo, yo. Take care. I think I can get a decent view from up there. I'm there. Gonna take a look around. Guess that's all there is to see. You hear that? Gunshots. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones having a bad day.
quiet here. here. an asshole. All right, we, we don't want any trouble. <laughs> Okay. You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm Peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on. But we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. Love the idea, but uh, we got kind of... volunteered. To check a couple other places for survivors first. Just think of it as payback for the time that you volunteered us for the running of the bulls in Pamplona. Okay then. You want a tank point, or should I? You want to know what worries me? Except. I don't know, man. Whole situation pretty messed up. You think? What's next? Razor wire and guard towers? That's not a bad idea, actually. We need to make things safer around here. What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived.
He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That guy was dead. I swear to God, that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on, let's grab what we can and get moving. I don't have enough space for this. Where'd you come from, anyways? Me and a couple guys from the unit came up here to do some deer hunting. Are you in the army? You don't miss much, do you? Anyway, we were on our way back when these psychos rushed us out of goddamn nowhere. What happened? You see me? You see Coltner Strand? Do the math. So, where are we going? I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find somebody. Yeah, or... Or... Well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can raise somebody on that. Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? I don't know. I figured if he had a radio, there must be somebody on the other end. So you robbed a dead guy, and you expect his friends to help us out? Wait, who says they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> Who is this? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Hunter's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh, try not to look too dicey? <laughs> So much for getting across here. Great, so we're stuck up here playing cannibal family picnic until somebody bothers to come looking for us? Maybe not. Let's head down the bank. Might be a place for us to cross on foot. Oh man, it's a lot of crazies. Here they come! Here they come! Looks like we could climb up over here, maybe? Here they come! We're headed your way. You said you were holed up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we... Well, 
12, 13 days ago, at first it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky, just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. Not right now. So, anyways. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. Better deal with this first. <laughs> So, anyways. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are... zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or... or the rat... Not right now. Where were we? I don't know. Maybe it's some... Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. God we'll damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but, well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though, rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to...
about a lot of stuff lately, and something occurred to me. We don't know squat. I'm confused. I mean, when it comes to long-term survival. Like, I've got my dad's old notebooks, and I'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm. But if we had reference material, we could do a whole lot more. What happened? Well, since we don't have the internet anymore, I'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library. Books on gardening, electrical engineering, carpentry, anything we can get our hands on. We gotta start somewhere, right? I'll run this home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Area secure. No Zeds here. 